Hi guys, welcome po sa Hugot Sip Nayan. This is Sir JV, your Matt Kahugot, and welcome po sa Hugot Sip Nayan. So, guys, ang video natin for today is a continuation po ng grade 8, second quarter. Ito po yung writing proofs, direct and indirect. So guys, we're done recognizing by conditional statement. So ngayon po, ang bibigyan pa sa natin guys, yung writing proofs using the law of syllogism na under siya guys ng deductive reasoning. So, we're done with the law of detachment on our last video. So, ngayon po guys, natin bibigyan pa sa yung law of syllogism which is part of probing or writing proofs directly and indirect approach. So, kung naalala nyo guys, yung law of detachment, na, nabigyan pa sa po natin yun, ito po yung another law natin bibigyan pa sa which is law of syllogism. So, guys, ano, excited na kayo, let's have this video. So guys, magkameron man tayo ng simple recall about what reasoning is. So, reasoning is guys, ability to draw logical conclusion based on evidences and stated assumptions. So, meron tayong dalawang uri ng reasoning. We have inductive reasoning that takes a specific example to make a general rule and deductive reasoning we take general rules in order for us to make specific examples. So, yun po yung guys, na tawag na two kinds of reasoning that we usually use on mathematics. So, madali guys, kapag inductive reasoning, more on uh, example tayo, patterns, experiences, tapos makapagunglod tayo guys ng assumption or ating logical uh, hypothesis out of our given reasoning. Samantalang guys, in deductive reasoning, we're trying to use different kinds of law. Under nga nito guys, yung law of detachment. Now, aside from law of detachment, ano po tayo natawag na law of syllogism. So, ito yung guys natawag nating pangalawang law under ng deductive reasoning that we usually use. So, we're trying to use them guys more on general rule to specific example. So, try natin siyang magbigay kayo sa mga example kung paano gamitin po yung law of syllogism. So, law of syllogism, I do not know if my pronunciation is correct. So, bear with me guys kung medyo mali siya. Kapag may tama pong, di ano po nito, pagbasa nito, di kayo na pong bahalang mag ano, sign po is syllogism. Law of syllogism is the reasoning for transitivity. Parang guys, kapag may ano, may dalawang premises o isang hypothesis na binigay sa inyo, one major hypothesis, kailangan guys, yung another minor hypothesis, maglilid siya whether yung conclusion natin ay valid or hindi. Ito po yung law of syllogism. For example guys, if P, then Q, and then Q, if Q, then R, is true conditional statement, And then guys, may possibility na if P, then R is true. Ano bang ibig sabihin nito guys? If A is to B, then B is to C, ibig sabihin guys, is A is to C. Yun po ang ibig sabihin niya. Okay, for example, statement number one. Kung ang P daw ay para kay Q, at ang Q ay para kay R, may possibility guys, na yung P ay para din kay R. Yun ang ibig sabihin niya guys, in a small manner natin. So, para mas mindin na natin guys, let's have some example. So, medyo nakakalito siya in when we're trying to ex uh, explain them in a broader manner. Pero subukan natin guys magbigay ng example para mas maintindihan natin. So guys, kailangan po all of the statement from statement number 1, number 2 ay true para malaman po natin yung statement number 3 natin or yung the last conclusion natin ay totoo ba or hindi? Okay. Example. If two lines are parallel, then they belong in one plane, to one plane, okay? If two lines belong to one plane, then they are complainer. So guys, ito yung ating, ha, ito yung P to Q, ito naman yung Q to R. Okay? Yan. Now, let's try to determine whether they are true or not. Siyempre, yung guys, yung una nating statement, true siya. Kapag nga naman ang dalawang line ay parallel, siyempre, nasa isang 
plain sila. Hindi mo pwede silang magkahiwalay na plain. At sabi na dito, kapag daw ang dalawang line na sa isang plane, they are coplanar. So, both of them are true. Now, guys, if we're going to make a our last conclusion, yung P is to R, ibig sabihin, papatak yan, if two lines are parallel, then, they are coplanar. So, doon mo lalabas, guys, yung P is to R. So, if two lines are parallel, then they are coplanar. Since, seemingly, guys, yung ating first statement ay true, yung second statement natin ay true, or yung ating if and then statement, or conditional statement natin, sa statement number one ay true, tapos po yung conditional statement natin, for number two is also correct, ibig sabihin guys, yung ating third statement, out of trans transitivity, or law of syllogism, that will make them true. Now, ang tanong, sir, sir, yung po ba'y valid sa lahat ng pagkakataon? Meron pong chance na hindi siya valid kapag po yung ating statement number one at statement number two ay hindi po totoo. Okay? So, kailangan po pare silang true para magkaroon tayo ng last statement we said to be true. So, guys, hindi lang naman sa level of truthness, guys, meron tayong absolutely true, sometimes true. Okay? Meron sa... Uh, Merong parang hindi talaga totoo, false talaga. So, yun po naman ay may level of truthness. Pero, kailangan guys dito, in one manner, kailangan true talaga siya para mas magamit po natin. Let's have another example, guys. So, if a man is good in mathematics, then he is an engineer. If he is an engineer, then he can build a house. So, that would be, if P is to Q, if P then Q, if Q then R. So, meron tayong, ang P natin dito guys, if a man is a good in mathematics, ang Q natin, then he's an engineer. So, ang R natin guys, he can build a house. So, tignan natin guys kung yung P is to R talaga namang true. So, syempre guys, true yung una. Syempre, hindi ka naman maging engineer kung hindi ka naman magaling sa math, diba? So, you're not really that extreme in math, but you're seemingly good, okay? Siyempre, ito din yun, guys. Kapag ikaw ay engineer, may possibility that you, could, you can make a house, okay? Make them them, guys. If a man is good in mathematics, then he can build a house. So, yun mo, guys, ay P is to R. So, that will be seemingly true, okay? So, yun po yung, guys, yung pag build ng ating... Conclusion under the law of syllogism. So guys, pinagsasama-sama lang yung ano, yung P at R. Pero dapat syempre guys, parehas lang true para mabuo mo siya under law of syllogism. Pag hindi siya true parehas, then you, could, you couldn't make the last valid conclusion. Next example, if an angle, angles are linear pair, then they are supplementary angle. If the, if the angles are supplementary, then the sum of the angles is 180 degree. So, first statement natin, syempre, so, para sa first statement natin, guys, tingnan natin kung siya true. So, first statement natin is, if P, then Q, then if Q, then R. So, first nating statement is true. Siyempre, second, uh, second statement natin ay true. First statement true, second statement true. And, para sa ating last conditional statement, if an angle are in linear pair, then the sum of the angles is 180 degree. And that will make the statement true. So, gets nyo guys? So, that will be law of syllogism. So, another example guys. If all animals have wings, then they can fly. If all animals can fly, then they are all, all birds. So, PQ, that's true. The other one is false. So, like, false yung isang statement natin, guys. Kasi hindi naman lahat, guys, ng animal na nakalipad ay ibon. Meron naman mga ibang animal na nakalipad, pero hindi ibon. Like, example, bats, di ba? If all animals have wings, then they're all birds. So, making the last conclusion not valid, but 
So, ibig sabihin guys, yung minor nating hypothesis are not valid. So, seemingly, kapag yung ating first statement ay not valid, and second statement natin not valid, then we couldn't make our last statement to be valid, guys. So, yun po yung under ng law of syllogism. Now, guys, para malaman natin whether you understand your our topic, which is law of syllogism, under writing proofs, I prefer you at least two items here. So, you're going to answer them within five minutes, guys. So, ang gawin nyo lang po, guys, try nyo lamang gumawa ng, law, ng another conclusion out of the given statement. But, guys, don't forget to identify its validity kung true ba yung ating first statement at syempre ang ating second statement. Or I'm talking about, guys, yung first conditional at saka yung second conditionals. So, guys, Let's have five minutes, guys. You may start answering.
Okay, guys. I know that you're done with your five minutes, guys. So let's try to check whether you answered them correctly or not. Para sa number one natin, ito po yung ating mga inclusion. If you are studying science, then you are studying botany. So, it's adding first statement. If you are studying science, then you are studying biology. That's correct. If you're studying biology, then you are studying botany. So, part po ng uh, biology siyempre is botany. So, bio means study of life. Uh, life ang bio. Lohia po. Ang lo logi po ay galing sa logic. So, making them part of botany siyempre study of plant may buhay and sabi nga dito sa last statement if you're studying science and you're studying botany so probably that's true okay that's for number one for our second statement if a creature is applied then it has an an antenna oh meron po pa siya napadamay lang to if the creature has an antenna then it's an insect if the creature is applied then it's an insect wow it's an insect, right? <laughs> it's a pest. Okay, so that will make them true, guys, in our statement. And that's how we try to answer under law of syllogism. And I have, guys, you learned something from this video. So, recall natin laws of syllogism. In law of syllogism, if the first conditional is correct, and the second conditional is correct, if sabihin, guys, yung first natin na hypothesis at yung second natin conclusion Making them a conditional statement for our third conclusion, that will be valid if and only if kapag valid po yung first conditional natin at syempre ang ating second conditional. So, the law of transitivity lang naman to guys in terms of statement. If A is to B, then B is to C, and definitely A is to C. So guys, I hope learned something from this video. If you like this video, kindly like this, share it guys. So, hindi ko na po sabihin ko kanina yung share. Sa lahat po naman, syempre, matulungan. Guys, so don't forget to like, follow, and share this video. So, guys, yung simpleng pag-like lang po ng video ito, napakalaking tulong na po para sa aking channel. Okay? God bless po. Ingat. Guys, see you on the next video. Mabuhay po kayo and God bless.